Welcome back to another episode of Support Knowledge Friday powered by Heineken Live Your Music. I'm Ordain and I'm here to keep you up to date on what's hot music. And we're going to get right into it. I have Fred Ferguson on the show. Give me a round of applause. <laughs> Give me a pat on the back. I got him on the show. <laughs> early in the morning too. Very early in the morning. Yeah. All of my guests hate it, but I mean they're smiling on camera so I can't That's say weird. anything. We know why, but we're not going to say on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay Fred, let's see where we can go. Okay. Are you a morning person or a night owl? <laughs> <laughs> we have to ask that now. <laughs> I am absolutely a night owl. You're a night owl. owl. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Favorite color? Black. Black. Do you like kids? Yes. Describe yourself in one word. Driven. Nice. What's your favorite sport? Hmm. Good, good one. Basketball, maybe. Okay. So who's your favorite player at basketball? I take that back. Right now, my favorite sport is volleyball. I take that back. And the reason I say that is because my son, Byron Ferguson is the first Bahamian pro volleyballer who plays now in Greece. I just came back from watching him play. So, favorite sport, volleyball. Favorite athlete, Byron Ferguson the second. I love it. I love it. Perfect. Are you a lover or a fighter, Fred? I am absolutely a lover. I was going to say let me ask how so, but I'm not going to go ahead and push that question. Off. You can talk that off camera. <laughs> Who's your favorite Junker New Group? The Pigs. The Describe what the pigs you see that you see there we go That's the discussion we're gonna have because we've divided the country in the valley Saxons. We forget we have other groups Well, I don't think we forgot we have other groups, okay, but, but the pigs no. all, right. all right Who's your favorite local artist? Ronnie Butler the late great. All right grilled or crack kunk? Crack What's your favorite sauce? Chicken Chicken sauce? No question. All right. You prefer regular kunk salad or scotch? Regular. Does tropical get anywhere? No in tropical. There? I, that tropical isn't kung salad. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Do you agree with Beyonce when she says girls run the world? Yes, my sisters run my life. Um, all the females in my life run me. So yeah. <laughs> and last question: Do you prefer a white crab or black crab? Black. Why? I don't know. That's what my mother cooks with. Black crab. Black crab. Yeah, <laughs> All right, now we can get back into the swing of things. So let's go ahead on and, and let everyone get up to date on what all you have been involved in, what all you are involved in now. I cannot call it all off. I think uh, you would do yourself way better justice. I don't know if I can also. It's been so long. Um, <laughs> but I've been involved in the industry for a long time. Right. Uh, don't let this young face fool you. Um, I started out, my career after high school was not music. My father, my parents didn't think music was a career. I'm from that era. Um, I went into telephone technician because my next love next to music is electronics. And uh, we did that for a while, but still played music. And then I left that and went into banking, but still played music. And just walked away from the bank and just did music full time forever after that. I joined a band that was called High Voltage in the 80s. They were pretty much already popular. Um, they had disbanded, and I was fortunate to join them. Um, that band turned in and developed into Bahamen. Bahamen. Everybody knows that name. Yeah, so I'm on a founding, original founding member of the original Bahamen um, before the dogs came out. I always say to people that I left before the dogs came out. I kept my dog in <laughs> um, while everybody else had their dog out. And maybe it's a good thing I left because they got the hit after I left. I was the music director for like 16 plus years, um, but we did well in that process. We had hit records in Japan, you know, everyone knows Back to the Islands, that video I that still stands strong. I'm so sorry, but that is one of my favorite, Stand no, that is my favorite um, Bahamian video. I mean, I don't, you have, if you are, you, you have to know this song Absolutely. if you consider yourself a Bahamian. And it, I'm gonna get me, give me goosebumps. I love that it's video. I love that song. It's, it's just the epitome of who we are. I yep. mean, it just, it, uh, it was perfect. It opened the door for a lot of things subsequent to that. You know, the Bahama and this grew, and we had hit records in Japan, gold records in Japan. We got, you know, mentioned in Ebony Magazine and MTV. So we were doing a thing. And But at that time, we were true to the Bahamian quote unquote sound. In the culture. The Junkanoo sound and the culture, yes. Um, time cha times changed and 
um, the band, the band leader wanted to go in a different direction. Our agent, our management wanted us to go a little bit more pop. Me being from Auckland and rooted, you know, deeply in the Bahamian thing, I didn't want to do the pop thing, so I left. And I, I did my own thing. I started producing and writing and doing my own stuff. And the first song that I co-produced on my own was Just Cause She Fact with KB. Just Cause She Yes. So that's, that's a jam. That's a jam. <laughs> so I've been, I've been, I've been lucky and fortunate to have worked with a number of big songs since I've been on my own. You know, I did Sweet Emily's first stuff. I did Jane O'Dee's, I did Gal Look Good. I did gospel stuff with the Cooling Waters and the Sensational Sons of Joy, Jump for Joy. I did Vision. Um, I did. I wrote and I wrote the song "Look What You Do" for Ronnie and Sweet Emily. I wrote um, "Agent That Put a Number" with Ronnie and Sweet Emily. I love that song too. Um, so, and then all of that flew past over the years, and I decided to get back into performing again because I had stopped, and I formed a band that's now called Tingam Them. Mm -hmm. Singing uh, them is a massively it's a thirteen. It's a massive band. Massive band. Yeah. Massively talented. Very serious unit. I got thirteen people. You know, we do the old school stuff. Um, so we do functions and you know, parties, weddings, whatever. Um, we have two songs out that we've recorded, and so pretty much my life has taken on that line of of, of progression. And now since that, um, very recently, I've moved to the U.S. This is news, and I haven't said this publicly at all until now. You see what this outfit did? Right? Well, no, 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 no. I knew that already because I caught you in the airport. I was traveling right. at the same time. That's right. So I've not, I've not announced it publicly, <laughs> and I pretty much, pretty much, and sadly but truthfully, have decided that I will buy into the formula that's worked over the years. That nothing works in our country until it comes from away. Sad but true. Funky Nassau didn't get known until it came from away. Oh, yeah. Baha Man didn't really get recognized, tea connections, until we came from away. We sell our oranges and pineapples and we buy it back from away. And so if that formula still has any merit, I think that I took the opportunity that I got my green card, that I should try to open some doors away for oh, yeah. artists. Nice. Doing the true sound, the true Bahamian sounds as I feel. I don't, nice. I don't want to get into the argument, but you know, who, whatever, as far as I think it is, because this is my direction. Um, if I, I just want to open doors there. I've already taken over, I have, a, I have a company and a partner, David Moss and myself, a company called Conk Pearl Entertainment 242. That's established in, in Lauder Hill, Florida. Um, and we're just, we're just trying to do it. So we've already taken over Lady E and the Spang Band, we've taken over, um, D-Mac and the Spank Band and the whole mission is apart from developing the sound there to bring it back here it also unites the Bahamian community Over that there. lives in the South Florida area exactly. because historically we own that area mm -hmm. we develop the uh, um, Coconut Grove we you know we have a hand in developing Flagless Street there's a rich history there all of the other Caribbean countries are gelling and doing their stuff why not the Bahamas so I'm looking in that direction, working along with the Consulate General, working along with the Tourism Office, how we can get Bahamians to unite, speaking our dialect, dancing our dances, and singing our songs. Oh, songs. I love it. Did you enjoy the interview as much as I did? Well, there's more. Make sure to watch round two of the Fred Ferguson interview next week. This is Support Now is Friday. See you there. Sure, and it's gotta be soon, and it's gotta be large.